Hello again everyone, it's Sunday, December 4th, 2022. I'm in Yoast, New York, along the CSX main line, approximately 45 miles east of Utica. I'm here today to catch Amtrak's Chicago to New York train, the Lakeshore Limited, head by. With some unusual power up front, it has a Norfolk Southern engine. When this sort of thing happens, it's because the Amtrak engine or one of them clonked out along the way and had to be replaced by a freight engine. Big Nose Curve is at a location, one of the few natural breaks in the Appalachian mountain chain. To my right is New York State Route 5, the CSX Main, then the Mohawk River Barge Canal, the New York State Thruway, on the other side of the New York State Thruway is New York State Route 5S, and the West Shore Railroad was on the other side of the State Highway, and over there someplace as well was the old bed of the Erie Canal. So it's an important choke point, if you will, in the transportation network of this area. Across the river is the feature known as Little Nose. Big Nose is on this side of the river. At one point there was a land bridge between Big Nose and Little Nose. Ten or eleven thousand years ago the ancient Mohawk River worked its way through the land bridge, destroyed it if you will, it flooded out the valley and the falls here I've read were much bigger than the falls in Niagara. V told my dog elected not to come with me this afternoon. He decided to stay home with my younger brother Daniel and play ball and just tramp around the uh, the woods. So that's where V told is. He turned nine a little while ago. He's doing fine. Look for him in another video. There will always be another video, I think. The New York Central Railroad once maintained four tracks here. Four tracks have been gone for decades. They were torn up in the Al Perlman era for a new signal system which made the extra trackage unnecessary. It's 38 degrees Fahrenheit three degrees Celsius. Sunset here is not till 423 today but as you can see the sun has dipped behind Little Nose. So thank you Little Nose for eliminating the bad sun angle. The lakeshore should be along just in a minute or two, maybe a little bit longer. It takes 40 minutes for it to travel, 45 minutes, 45 miles between Utica and this point. So just a few minutes longer of me sitting on this cold rock waiting for the lakeshore with a Norfolk Southern lead engine. And for those of you keeping score at home, the Lakeshore passed by here at 3.33. The Mohawk River level is down because the navigation season is over for the Barge Canal. The Barge Canal and the Mohawk River are combined here. Until next time, this is Railroading Rambler at Big Nose Curve, signing out.